Shabbat Shalom. Our hearts are heavy as we continue to hear about the suffering being endured by the Ukrainian people in the face of the Russian onslaught. We're dismayed, saddened by the wanton disregard for human life. Our hearts go out to the Ukrainian people fighting against the evil being perpetrated by Putin. This Shabbat is called Shabbat Zachor. It's a special name given to the Shabbat before Purim, the Shabbat of Remembrance. On this Shabbat, in addition to the Torah reading, which is part of the regular Torah reading cycle that we're going to have from Leviticus, we're going to read a section from the book of Deuteronomy. And in that section, we read the story of the Amalekites. When the Israelites, as they were marching through the wilderness after having left Egypt and on their way to the land of Israel, the Amalekites, unprovoked, attacked from the rear. Now, you should know that it's always the fighters, the strong who are in the front, and the weak women, children, the elderly who are in the rear being protected. The Amalekites, they attacked those who were disadvantaged. They attacked the weak, the unprotected. That story and the Amalekites has long been the model of evil for the Jewish people. And on this Shabbat before Purim, when we read the story about Haman and the dangers of evil, the story of the Amalekites is a setup and a reminder of another story of evil. You know, when we think about evil, in the history of the Jewish people, we think about the Amalekites, we think about Haman, we think about Pharaoh, Hitler, the human history, there have been other representatives of evil. And Putin now is the newest name to be added to that list. The damage that can be inflicted by evil. The need to remember the dangers of evil. Putin, who's engaging in this war, who's lying to his own people about what it's about, who's telling lies to the world, taking away the basic freedoms of people and information and truth, those are signs of evil. On this Shabbat Zachor, when we read the story of the Amalekites, we're going to be thinking of Putin and about the present dangers of evil. We need to stop it and to stand up to it. Our hearts go out to the Ukrainian people we hope that their bravery will prevail, that they will be victorious in this fight for the very freedom of their lives. As the world responds and tries to give support and who knows what will happen in the coming days, our prayers go out to the Ukrainian people, to all who are in the path of harm and the path of evil. May goodness prevail. On this Shabbat, I'm wishing you a Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat of peace for us, for Ukrainians, for everyone in the world. Shabbat Shalom.